Hey, it's me, <laughs> it's Titan, and today I will be showing you how you can create another H5P content called Audio Recorder. Let's jump right in. Once you're in the course, turn the editing on. After that, go to the section where you want to put this type of H5P activity. Add an activity or resource. Click on that button. Activities H5P. As always, you will first have to fill out all the necessary details. Again, the description is something optional. Once you're done with the general, proceed to the others, like H5P options, the grade. Hmm, okay, I want this to be, okay, just 10 points. And the passing for me is eight. Attempt options. Common module settings, restrict access, activity completion, tags, let's go back up once everything has been filled out. All right. In the general, you will see the package file. And in the package file, you will be able to see use the content bank to manage your H5P files. Click on opens a new window. You will go straight to the content bank. The content bank is where your H5P or your saved H5P activities are stored. Click on add and choose the activity you want. In this case, we are using audio recorder. Then here we are. This is what the editor of the audio recorder looks like. Let's put a title to it. Hmm. I'm thinking of an activity of translation. Imagine that you are teaching languages to students to be specific Tagalog or Filipino. Okay, so let's put I put a title to it, of course, and then the task description. Right. Let's see, for example, that, that is your activity. After this one, okay, you will have to check the text overrides and translations. Don't worry, because these are just um, word replacement settings. So, as I have mentioned, if you are teaching languages, you can either choose which language you are teaching here and since i have chosen tagalog or filipino there isn't any available option here that will translate this activity to tagalog so if you are a filipino teacher you can customize this to 
our mother tongue. Right? But if you don't want it, it's fine as well. Once you're satisfied with this, you can save this activity. When you save it, you will be directed to a page where you can preview this activity. All right, so here it is. Let's try it. Press the button below to record your answer. Okay, translate this sentence to Tagalog. What is your name? Anong pangalan mo? Anong pangalan mo? All right, so we have that one. Once you're all set with this and you feel satisfied with, right, you have, have been, you have been able to correctly set this accordingly, you can now close it and insert this to your course. Here we are back to the content bank. Now let's go back to the page. And here we are. All you have to do is click on the box here, go to Content Bank, and choose the one we have created just now. The Filipino language, select this file, save and display. Okay, all right. Now you can enjoy this type of activity in your course. I hope you learned something from this video and you find this activity useful. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers!